Hey there, this is James Darknell from The Foundry. In this series of videos, I'll be covering all of the basics of using the new Mesh Fusion workflow introduced in Modem 10.2. If you haven't yet watched the Getting Started video, I highly recommend you do that first for a solid overview of the Mesh Fusion changes. In this video, I'm going to be covering these display filter buttons right here and what they can add to the workflow. So they kind of can help you to troubleshoot a model and they can also help you to isolate certain sections of it so you can focus on it once you've got a complex model. So what the first button does, I'm going to select a primary here for my Mesh Fusion object on this head. And what the first button does is it lets you isolate that primary. So it hides all of the other primaries that are in that Mesh Fusion object. What the second button does is it selects all of the associated relationship trims on that one object. So you can see just the trims on that object. And then what the third button does is it returns everything to its normal state. So if you click that, it'll take a second and it returns all of your objects. So let's say I wanted to make some adjustments to this head and I could select that, select any of the associated trims. Now I can use internal moto functions such as hide uh, the H key. I can use hide unselected shift H. Uh, and then the U key to unhide those elements. So if I really wanted to isolate this, I could just hit Shift H. Now I'm only seeing these elements that I want to work on. And then the U key, of course, brings all of those back. And then we can use the return display method to put everything back to its normal display mode. So those are the display filters that we've introduced in Mesh Fusion with Moto 10.2. Thanks for watching.